What is up everybody, this is Alexis back at you on the Process VT page. I'm coming back at you guys with a new video. Uh, today, I don't know, it's been a long time since I've actually done videos. Today is actually July 3rd? Yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know. I do know that I, I have a lot of clips and stuff I'm trying to get out. Just There's a lot of things I'm pretty busy with like work, school, and then my other job now. Um, so kind of hard to like manage time a bit, but trying to make things work finally I'm able to like financially do stuff with the truck to like build it the way I want to <laughs> today I don't know I am just like try not to talk too much from the intro but I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the supercharger got really cool plans with it I want to paint it today so definitely gonna do something with that I don't know <laughs> um, you guys will see as I go along in the video I don't want to like spoil things off in the beginning of the video but yeah I don't know <laughs> hope you guys enjoy this video Go ahead and show you guys what I've done so far. This thing is like terrible, really bad condition right now. Um, a lot of this stuff, the supercharger is supposed to have this lining on the blades, kind of meant to seal a bit more, and it's falling off. I didn't really realize that till right now, but I'm trying to get a lot of it off, like so it doesn't really cause damage to the blades or the walls of the supercharger. I don't really know how much far in you can see, but. Pretty sure you guys could hear that. Yeah, like the clicking noise. Not really supposed to be able to hear it. Uh, something I might do right now too. Um, I want to plug up these silencer holes. Just to see if I could get the supercharger to whine a bit louder. But that's in the plans of today's video. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and try to pull some of this stuff off. But I'll get the supercharger to like the... The area where I'm going to be working on it a bit. Um, definitely want to get like a scotch brake pad and like scrape up a lot of this stuff. Uh, the color is going to be not a surprise, but it's going to be like pretty cool. I don't know. Kind of not different either, but something different than what you guys have seen so far. I don't know if you guys have ever seen my supercharger. I don't think I really show my engine bay too much in the YouTube videos, more of the external part of the truck. But I'll definitely show you guys everything and like the process that I'll be doing today. How to do it yourself if you want to. I'm kind of just doing it based off of what I've seen in previous like YouTube videos and stuff. With what people do with like painting wheels and stuff. Like Donut Media and all them other guys. <laughs> but yeah, let's see. So if I'm going to spray it with some degreaser maybe. Try to get the power tools to scrape it off a bit so it's all clean and stuff. And then plug up the silencer holes and then from there... I don't know, start prepping it so I could get painted and stuff. I'm definitely going to paint all this other stuff as well. Just don't know if I'm going to do that today. This, yes. This, yes. This, not yet. I don't know. Definitely want to get to doing something cool though. Really cool idea I had. I haven't seen this stuff. Oh shoot. Let me empty out this water. It's not supposed to be there. <laughs> but something I've seen. Um... My idea, okay, you know what, screw it. Might as well just save the colors and stuff. <laughs> Gonna paint it black, but all these ribs and stuff and the ones on top of the supercharger right here, they're gonna be polished out to be kind of like chrome or as close to chrome as possible. So I'm also gonna be working on that too. Um, but my best bet right now, cause I also have an idea of doing something with the faceplate. You guys will see right now in a moment, but I might have to chrome this out first. Chrome this out, do what I'm gonna do. It's gonna be a pretty cool thing. So definitely think right now, spray it down. Wanna get a lot of this gunk and stuff off. Scrub it with this. It's gonna be kind of, I know I'm gonna get the gun right now. Go at it a bit, try to clean it off a bit. I got some more degreaser. I've already tried cleaning it before. Cleaned it and I had it back here and I covered it. It's just yesterday that I went to my second job and it rained and I, I had it uncovered and stuff cause I was looking at, at some things that I had to buy. And, I was looking at the supercharger itself and stuff, but definitely gonna get to cleaning this thing right now. So, yeah, let's see. So, I went ahead and got the the gunk engine degreaser. Seen videos, this is probably like the best one that doesn't really, I don't know, damage too many things, like hoses and stuff. Kinda trying to be careful with all of this stuff while I'm at it. But this stuff, really good from what I've seen. I've used it so far and it's pretty good at getting things off. But as I mentioned, I tried cleaning it the last time. I didn't scrub it. Um, had to get some brushes and stuff, but um, definitely gonna try it again. 
watch so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and spray it all down real quick So the spray down is done. We already completely covered it. Got this thing. I'm gonna put the brush to it and see what we could do. Let's see what it does here. This is probably like the messiest spot. So far, it looks like it's cleaning it pretty good. Can't really get it into there where all this like nasty dark stuff is, but it looks like it cleaned it off pretty well. We'll, we'll go ahead and see how it ends up after the spray down with the power washer. But let's go ahead and do the backside now. See how the brush ended up yeah, not too bad and then honestly i'm not too worried i don't know if like you guys are like freaking out because of like the mating surfaces and stuff that's those are plastic bristles it shouldn't really affect it too much i tried getting it like around like every crack and crevice that i could find like to go ahead and try to see if i could get much of the gunk off but so far that's it with this thing i'm gonna power wash it once just to go ahead and try to get as much degreaser off and then i'm gonna get the scotch bright pad and go at the whole thing and then also go with the power washer again afterwards to try to remove all of that removed paint and stuff. Let's see. So I already set up everything that I needed to set up. I just moved everything out like into the open, out of the shade, so I could dry up faster. I don't know. Thought that was a better idea. It's just gonna get like really hot for me, but <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you guys have seen like in the videos so far, I've been like, oh what the heck? I'm wearing boots with the shorts, you know. <laughs> I don't know. I got comfortable to wearing shoes rather than, or I got more comfortable wearing boots rather than shoes for some reason. And now, like, whenever I work on cars or like do anything really, like, even if I gotta like run outside to go get my like phone or earphones from the car, I run out in shorts and boots. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see how much of a difference this thing made. I don't know if I went at this, but I'll go ahead and focus on that too. Let's see. Okay, so so far it looks like the paint is kind of chipping off too. So that's kind of good. I'm not gonna have to work as hard right now. Let's go ahead and flip this and see how the underside looks too. So that's good. Look, a lot of those flakes falling out. Which is kind of the goal with spraying with the power washer in there. I don't know, you guys might get pissed off and stuff. Especially because it's a supercharger, but you know what, screw it. But so far everything looks clean. I definitely want this side to dry off right now. So I could go ahead and try getting the JB Weld stuff I bought for it into place. Basically, it's just like metal, metal putty. So what you do 
you go ahead and knit it a bit make a ball out of it like depending on how much you need and then what I, what I've seen so far from the guy that like made the YouTube video on it he said he stuck it in from the inside so he stuck it in and flattened it out as much as possible just so it doesn't touch the blades but he went ahead and did that and yeah I don't know um, he did that and that's how he plugs up these holes All right, let's see that don't look too good <laughs> it's like coating I think it's the coating of the aluminum unless the inside is like cast iron not too sure it does look like it's casted though but it kind of looks rusty but I don't know there's markings and stuff that I've never seen on here such as like right here it shows the number 1340 and it has like the numbers and stuff and the supercharger I don't, know. I don't know what that number might be. Um, something I did notice with the block though, uh, hopefully it's still on here after I get it back from the machine shop, but it has a remanufactured Ford plate on it. <laughs> where that engine, it's, well, as I said, remanufactured. It showed like a date of like April 17th, 2003. Same age as the truck and stuff. Unless it might be considered 2002 because of the time, but I don't know. There's something like weird about the months with car stuff where if it, I think it's after October, it's already considered the next year's version of that engine or car and stuff. But I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna just stop talking and stuff. Let this thing dry up and see about plugging up those holes that while we're working on the supercharger, like paint wise and stuff, we could go ahead and leave that dry and see how it turns out in the end as well. All right, so I got a microfiber towel and stuff and went ahead and just tried drying up everything. Kind of how it ended up. There's a few like spots that are kind of wet, but the main work area isn't wet no more. So we could go ahead and work with that. Um, something I read on instructions. I'm gonna need gloves, but also this thing says for best results, use the greaser first, which we already did, and then on top of that, use a file or coarse sandpaper. But I don't have neither of those two. Um, I'm gonna just go ahead and use a Scotch white pad. Kind of the same thing like what you do with paint, but I don't know. You know. Maybe just give it a little bit more grip, if making it coarser somehow. I don't think it will do much. If this doesn't seem to be doing anything at all, I'll probably just go ahead and I'll go ahead and look for sandpaper. There should be some here somewhere. I just haven't looked. Let's see. So it is getting like a bit shiny. But yeah, let's see. So we're probably just gonna have to rinse it off after this. Cause all that scotch right ah, uh, you know what? No, I don't even want to move the supercharger. <laughs> I think it should be able to just grip in there either ways though. But just in case. Let me just check my box over here. Let's see. So I have this steel stick right here. This thing says it could cover like all sorts of metals and stuff. And specifically wanted it for the aluminum part. Um but from what I see on the instructions. It says cut, so I'm guessing just kind of pull out exactly what you need, and only that, and then set to start to need. Uh, kind of like Play-Doh, I guess. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Yeah, I had it in the sun, and I noticed like the the box that came in was kind of it looked like it had moisture inside. So hopefully I didn't mess anything up. But so far. Looks like the things are missing. It has a black core with like a gray outside. But, need. Let's go ahead and just force it in. Let's see. I'm gonna just try to push it in a little bit. So I could go ahead and go through to the other side. And on the other side with my other hand, Go ahead and push it so it sets down a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and do like a spin check. Let's see. So so far, I'm trying to see if I can make any more. Ah, oh, yeah, like a little bit of contact. and try to clean as much of that off as possible. Hopefully it's not contacting anymore. Eh, 
I should be fine. Just gotta be careful the next time I do it. All right, so I'm back. I just finished putting the putty. The camera had died. Um, weird noise coming from it now. I think it's, it's just from being like super dry and stuff right now. Or also, I don't know. It seems to be like whenever the pulley turns. Like, I think it might be like contacting these, if anything. Yeah. I don't know. Weird rattle. It could be a bearing or something. Hopefully, hopefully nothing. I don't know. I'll see if, like what I could do to see if I can make that noise go away. I don't know if it did that already or not. But it's, you can't hear it whenever it's tilted. So I don't know if it has to do with the putty and stuff. But as you can see, this stuff's pretty hard. Like if I can push on it, it's not even gonna break at all anymore. <laughs> oh shoot. <laughs> huh, that would have been bad. But, yeah, I don't know. I think I'm going to go ahead and start working on the thing that I told you guys about, though. Um, going to polish out the front part and stuff, see see what I can do. But I'm going to carry it real quick. <laughs> I can't get in, like, one of the most sketchiest ways ever. But let's see, we're going to need this. And, yeah, I don't know. We're going to continue on to the next step. I'll come back right now. Is it recording? So I got my cousin Benjamin here, you know, I don't know. I bought this today, <laughs> spent like 80 bucks on like on all this stuff. I didn't even know it came with accessories already, but I bought this kit for like, I think it was like 24. Yeah, it was like 24 bucks for the whole accessory kit, but it's hyper tough, not Dremel brand, but yeah, it works at least. But I don't know, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with this faceplate. You can kind of see where I kind of etch this, like kind of measure out like what I wanted to do. But, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try to get started. I don't know if this is bad, but I'm gonna use a wire. Like, kinda like a wire wheel. Just to kinda get the paint off and stuff. But, right, let's see. Oh. So, I guess I ruined the wheel. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that's bad. Like, I'm not even wearing like safety glasses. <laughs> oh man. Oh, there goes that wheel. So this is the work area I want to go ahead and see, but here's the idea. Thank you. <laughs> um, so I want to polish this out just to go ahead and put this sticker on here. And from there, leave the sticker on there. Like leave it. I want to actually like polish it out so it's reflecting as hell. So we'll do that. Put the sticker on here and then paint over it all black. And once I'm done with all the layering and stuff of the black paint, Go ahead and peel off the stickers, see how it comes out. And then from there, just go ahead and clear coat everything. So that's kind of like the big, my surprise at least, like it's new to me, I've never done it. But it looks here that we kind of do need a bit more space. All right, so it looks like it might be enough. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think it's gonna be cool. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and put this here. But before I do that, I need to polish it out now. So this is just to sand it down to get to the bare aluminum, which I think it is there. I don't wanna really go too much at it with the grinding wheel or anything like that. I had to go through this gray stuff in order to get to the bare aluminum. But now that's the bare aluminum to get it polished out to like that chromish look. What I've seen so far, you use this right here. So you kind of get this little wheel, let it spin on it a bit, get it, and then you start going at it and it starts smoothing it out. But let's see, never done it, brand new to this. So let's see.
so it's not exactly the full on finish that I wanted. Um, I guess it kind of has to do with, I don't know. Let's see, so it kind of does look mirror like from an angle. But once you see it from in front, it's just very smooth. So I guess it just has to do kind of with lighting. But I think if I would have used a better sandpaper or a better sanding wheel, it would have gotten like completely flat. And with it being polished out like this, it would have made it look better. But you know what? Screw it. I like this finish. All right. So I am done with the polishing part. Came out pretty good. All right. Looking like... Not exactly full mirror finish. I think it has to do with the sanding wheel that I use, but pretty good. Uh, I'm going to just go ahead and rinse it all off, though, because I just sanded every single bit to make it as smooth as possible. So you seeing these ugly little bumps. You can see the white spots. that Those used to be bumps, but now they're flattened out, so everything's all smooth. So when it's painted, it won't really look as bumpy. But, yeah, I don't know. going to go ahead and rinse it off. going to try not to use the power washer on this end. But everything else should just fall off with water and maybe microfiber towel. I'll probably take one just to go ahead and like scrub it down a bit. Just to try to get off everything off as much as possible. Look, got powder and stuff all over my hands. <sighs> Let me see. Let me see. Take this. Sorry. So I went ahead and already washed it down. Just put tape on this stuff. I'm gonna get a razor blade right now and just go at the edges and do that. I'm gonna figure out a way to cover the supercharger pulley enough so it doesn't get paint on it, but so I could paint behind the snout just a little bit. It doesn't really need to be like full on painted, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. This one's over here messing around with that. <laughs> but yeah, I'll cut to whenever like, it's basically all prepped to get painted. All right, so I just finished covering everything up. Even got the pulley up to right there. Just so it, so it seals pretty good. Like, not seals good, but like, it gets painted pretty good. Like, enough to where you can visually see without having to look. Either way, nobody's going to be looking behind the pulley. So, <laughs> I just covered it up to there. Um, hopefully, none of these bugs mess with it while I'm painting. But, went ahead and covered all these. These are mating surfaces for the other parts I'm going to have to paint. But, also covered the screw holes those right there what the heck I don't know if that's a drop of the water or not hopefully not <laughs> but yeah I don't know it's completely covered now it's really dry as well and then this thing says I don't know it's this that I'm using it's hyper temperature engine enamel gloss black from VHT um, says okay so it says two light coats and one heavy coat. So I'll go ahead and do that. And then I got this handle from Rust-Oleum. I think I bought it for like five bucks. I forgot where I got it though. But saw it one day and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna buy it because I know I'm gonna need it. And surely I didn't need it. I'm not really good at painting. At least I don't, I don't know. I don't have experience in it. So I'm gonna do some tests real quick. Seems good. So that all seems pretty good for a first coat. Doesn't seem to be chipping any paint anywhere, which is a good sign. I don't know. <laughs> Usually, I don't know. I've, <laughs> I've tried it before where I tried painting and it starts drooping right away. It doesn't seem to show any droopy marks or anything like that. All right, I'm back. I came back with the pick that I used for the stickers. 
I'm uh, gonna go ahead and get started with the second coat right now. Another light coat before we go on to the third coat. Uh, looks to be drying up pretty good. Well, let's, see. let's go ahead and get started. All right, so it's looking good so far. Doesn't seem to be any droopy marks yet. <laughs> uh, the part that's concerning me is around the sticker. That part looks very glossy. So I think I might have done like too much of a thick coat right there, unless that's just because of the polished aluminum spot. But I don't know, so far so good, so far so good. Uh, just gonna wait for it to dry up a little bit before I go ahead and do that third coat. Third coat would probably be the part where it shines the best with it being a bit thicker. But yeah, just gonna go ahead and give it a few minutes. And I think I got it. Looks pretty good. Just gonna wait for it to dry off a little bit before I go ahead and try peeling off that sticker. I think I'm gonna just go ahead and give it like a good like five minutes or so to dry up and solidify a little bit before deciding to try to peel that. I don't want it to be too solidified because then I don't want to actually start peeling the paint off. But it shouldn't really be coming off because it was sanded prior to painting it. So I don't know. I might give it a shot, see how it turns out. If it messes up, the good thing is I could just go ahead and cover that. But it kind of suck <laughs> for all the work that I've done so far for that. But hopefully it comes out good. All right. So I think it's about time. It looks to be dried up. Not like full dry, but like a pretty decent amount so where I could go ahead and touch it a bit. But moment of truth with the supercharger lettering stuff. Hold up, so, here we go. <laughs> Sorry. Um, this is the finished product, basically, of the thing. The logo came out kind of weird, the sticker messed up, but, you know what, besides that, it's pretty good for my first try on it. Hopefully you guys can see that pretty clear. It looks pretty shiny, but I went ahead and bought some more, like, sandpaper or finer grit, just to see if maybe, like, by sanding it by hand, it'll come out better whenever I do the top ribs, but this is done so far, so I think I'm gonna do the upper intake part of the, um, the supercharger but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and try to see i don't know this is the next day so this is july 4th so happy 4th of july um but gonna go ahead and you know, get to the top part right now gonna record that as well all right so i finished painting all the parts uh i don't know if i'm gonna be skipping around and stuff with the videos or like the clips but yeah look how it turned out <laughs> got this ford the uh, the blue Ford badge logo thing painted in. Well, because it was already blue, but covered it up, taped it up right so it doesn't get painted at all. And then painted the rest black so it matches with everything else. Not too sure if I want to clear coat it or not. Because if I clear coat it, then maybe later it's going to be a hassle to get that stuff off. Like if I ever decide to polish it even more. But it looks pretty good. I don't know, spent a while like polishing it out with the Dremel. Uh, I actually got some finer um, sandpaper in the case I don't show that, but supercharger is done I do have to paint the um, the plate that the intercooler sits on and then that other little bit that goes onto the intake the intake manifold portion but yeah look you know been working a bit on it went ahead and covered this stuff with that what do you call it wire loom yeah went ahead and wire loomed everything this is the stuff that I use this stuff I might use for the hoses in the engine bay but um so far got all that i got my engine back from the machine shop so i think i'm gonna go ahead and try putting it together i've never actually messed with putting an engine together and torquing it down i've assembled engines at school but have yet to actually like do it fully correctly the way it's supposed to be done because there well, it was just kind of like oh try to disassemble it put it back together as fast as possible you don't have to torque anything down because either way they're going to be used as trainers. But, I don't know, this one's going to be my first actual engine build. So, <laughs> kind of scary. 
Uh, the parts came back way cleaner than what the parts used to look like. It's just, there's a few spots that he didn't really clean too well. But I think either way, I'm going to go ahead and spray it all down with some like engine cleaner. Engine, brake cleaner, same stuff. It evaporates, so I'm going to spray it down a bit just so it cleans off the spots that he might have missed. And then with the engine block, I'm also have to do something with that as well.